Hi everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about using Autocrat with Google Sheets. It's a great addition, a great add-on that you can send documents very quickly to students through email. So here's is a spreadsheet that I have created and the people on the spreadsheet actually filled out a form for me and now I want to send them uh, a certificate that I'm going to create. So I'm going to go into my Google, Sheet, Google Slides here and create a certificate. And notice that I have brackets around first name and brackets around last name. That's going to take the information from my Google Sheet and put it onto the Google uh, slide here. But however, I need to make sure I have those brackets and that it is the heading from the spreadsheet. So let's see here, the last name, first name. So yeah, I'm good on my spreadsheet. So now I'm going to open up Autocrat. When I open up Autocrat, it takes a little bit. So you got to be a little bit of patient there. Um, it's it's going to say, okay, do you want to create a job? So I'm going to click create a job and I'm going to name the job, whatever it is I want to name. And this one, I'm just going to do use it as a practice because this is a practice for today. So I add practice job and I'm going to click next and I'm going to continue to click next and not save until the very end, which is step nine. Yeah, there's nine steps, but it won't take you that long, I promise. All right, so step two, I need to choose a template. So I say, okay, I want the template that I just created my Google Slides. So I find it. All right, I'm going to add it. Okay, so I'm going to click next, All right? And now I'm going to add some head, and that's going to say, okay, here's your first name, but wait, the last name didn't get transferred over. So there's a little drop down, a little uh, disclosure arrow there. So I'm going to click on that. And when I click on that, I'm going to be able to add the last name. Put the last name in, and I'm going to go ahead and click next. Now I'm going to give this a file name because what I'm going to, what it's going to do for me is going to create a copy for me and a copy for the student. So I want to put in brackets first name, brackets last name, and then whatever it is, maybe you know precipitation uh, certificate, whatever it could be. Okay, if, I'm, if we're talking about the water cycle or something. So I add that in there, and then for the type, I don't want to make it as a Google slide because my kids will be able to edit it. So I change that to PDF, and then I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next. Okay. And the next one is it's going to ask me where, what file folder I want to put all of these images or these, these certificates in. So I choose a folder. I can create a folder and then you know choose it, but I do have to map it out. I never use the step six and seven. Um, and I go to step eight and I want to make sure that I share out the document and I want to make sure that nobody else can copy it. So I say no and no. And then under the two, I need to make sure that my within my brackets that I have the correct for, for their email, the correct header in there, okay? And I know that the correct header is, uh, I believe it's, uh, yeah, professional email address, okay? So we're gonna put that in there. And then um, underneath that is gonna be our subject, and we have to put a subject in there, so I always use like congratulations, or here's your certificate, or something like that. So this one I'm gonna put in congratulations. And then underneath that, that's where I'm going to put my email. So I'm going to put dear first name, okay, and then a comma. And then I'm going to add whatever it is I want to add. So that way, again, it's going to take that information from my spreadsheet and put it into my email. So again, I'm making this personalized in a super easy way. And it looks like I spent a lot of time doing this, okay? So then once I finish with my email and I add my, you know, yay, congratulations, I'm going to go ahead and click next. And it's going to say, do you want this to go off of a trigger? So if this is off of a form where they hit submit, then I'm going to say, yes, I want it off of a trigger. So it's going to set up the trigger for me. Okay. Once it finishes setting up that trigger again, you have to be a little bit patient. This is, you know, we're, we're doing this not in quite real time. Uh, I'm going to click save because step nine is the last step. And now it's going to save all of those parts of my job. And now I'm going to go ahead and run it because I do have some names in here already. And I run it. It will run automatically after this, but I want to run it for the first time now. So now it's setting up and it's creating all of those documents for me. And I know that because this part of my spreadsheet, it shows me that it's got a link to the documents as well as it says that it was successfully emailed to these particular email addresses, which is one of them is mine. So I'm going to actually go to my email and check to make sure that it actually did what I what it said it was going to do. So look at here, I have an email from, from myself to, to me, and there's my certificate, and there's my email that says, you know, Dear Dean, because I put in Dean Winchester. Oh, look at that. There's Dean Winchester. I put it right on my certificate for me. I made a PDF document. It looks beautiful. It looks like a lot of time went into this, and it was just a few steps using Autocrat. Uh, Awesome tool, highly recommend using it for your classroom culture.
Thanks for watching.